Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org practice labs. Today we are going to talk about the library access which is the full access that you get when you purchase the library access to every single thing that is available through uh, practice IT labs. So how do you get it first? You need to go to jobskillshare.org. You'll click on start IT career with hands-on IT labs and this is where you can see different type of access. If you want to buy a single course lab you can do that. If you want to buy a full library which includes every single thing you can do that or you can do bundles like CompTIA bundle Cisco bundle and all that stuff uh, if you would like to do it through membership to get the full library access you can also click on uh, membership levels and then you can scroll down and select the membership plus with library access uh, that will give you also the same access that I'm using so once you purchase the lab in two to eight hours you will get an email from support uh, you, with your username and password and the domain that you need to use for these labs so in this case I'm using uh, this email and this email I have a full access so I'm gonna do that right now and then we will use a domain and then login so when you log in for the first time you will see like agreement you just need to click on it that kinda agrees that you are the only person that will be using these labs and you cannot share it and all that stuff and you will get a lot of um, uh, support uh, documentation from the lab so first let me show you where you can get the documentation if you're still uh, if you're still not used to these labs just the first time uh, and this video may not help you and you think you need more so then you click on this little question mark right here here you will see the uh, full guides right here with PDF you can download it and then you can see the videos right here which is pretty good videos and they have some tricks that you can use for these labs if something goes wrong and before you go to the support and there is a requirement also you might might want to check this first also and you can just find out from this video that what kind of requ requirements you will need for this uh, lab usually you just need an updated browser and uh, just a computer with a little bit more uh, speed like this you know 2 MB and and uh, right here is the processor speed, uh, internet bandwidth, and uh, some of the processor speed right here. What kind of browsers are supported? As you can see, any browsers that support HTML, um, they're supported. I'm using Firefox uh, right there, and anything uh, um, Chrome 29 plus, uh, 13 plus, and and. 10 plus right here. I mean, I'm using Chrome at this point. Sorry, Firefox, and it's doing great on Firefox. If you still need help, you can call this number, uh, or you can call, you can uh, email support right here. Um, so, and then there's a uh, legal stuff right there. And if you want to send a ticket, you can also do that. So this is the way you t you can get support for the labs if you're having issues. Then you can come to the settings here, and as you can see, the settings you can change the password in there, uh, device uh, devices, um, and you have some more options right here. What do you want to use for the remote desktop client? I keep everything the default uh, unless I'm having some issues. You can try different things. Uh, you want to keep HTTPS for security and if you want to use HTTP that's really up to you uh, and the font size this is the lab document size like on the right size right here you can change that to large extra large huge um, and if you are um, going out or uh, you just want to say go going out and that will keep your uh, lab here so if you click on this little little icon right here it gives you more information about what what it's what basically it will do for you so when you go out it will say auto log out but then the auto log out will change uh, and then the, it will keep that your session in there so as you can see on the right side the session is auto log out that's to keep the resources uh, good for this platform so then if let's say for example you do need to you do need to stay uh, for this lab and you're doing it for more than 57 minutes and you want to uh, get the time um, like you know get the time on again you can basically uh, click on it and you see right there when I as soon as I click on it the, the time went back to 60 minutes so this is the way you can do things to make sure that you don't you don't just get auto locked out uh, while you're doing labs uh, to get the time up and running 
So another thing about this lab is that you have uh, some other things right here. Um, let's go here. This is your full available uh, courses in the library access. We recommend everyone in jobskillshare.org to get the library access because then you can just jump around to different skills because remember jobskillshare.org courses are based on title. So like if you're taking a help desk course, it's not just focusing on CompTIA stuff. It has a lot of system admin and some networking going on and not at the de detail level but there are things that we do that requires more uh, resources or different type of things or virtualizations and different technologies so you just you just need to you cannot be uh, my suggestion to you is if you're if you're focusing on these labs right here, these courses, and you want to do labs with it, uh, and you want to learn the skills, then then get the library access. But because you can jump from CompTIA to Cisco right from there, like you know, just go to top right here. There's, there you go. You have Cisco right there. Um, we will do some labs in here just to show you, just kind of give you a feel of it. Uh, so then you can decide if this is a good pick for you. So let's get started with the lab and how can you use practice labs with the maximum benefits. Now of course you have access to all these courses, lab courses that these labs are uh, kind of built for it. But how can you use the job skills share courses? For example, let's say you're working on an Active Directory user management course or maybe a help desk course where you're doing like a SCCM deployments or some other things that you have learned in this course, just a basic learning and now you want to practice and maybe Hyper-V virtualization and all uh, different type of skills. So this is where you need a better lab with a lot of things pre-built in it. So you, you're looking for a workstation, a you're looking for a domain controller, you're looking for an extra server where you can do things, where you can practice and, and kind of see what I was doing in these courses by working on a machine physically, you probably don't need that anymore. So now the best thing you can do is to keep things current. So you want to work on a on a latest technology. So the best thing you can do is to type 2016. As you can see, I already clicked on networking with Windows Server 2016. Now, of course, if you click on this, this lab is totally different than what I am going to suggest to you. If you are interest in, I interested in this specific skill, of course, you are going to follow the lab environment here. So in this, you will follow this lab guide to learn this skill, networking with Windows Server 2016. But if you're following the course of Active Directory and things on jobskillshare.org and you want to practice that, the videos that I have created, then you will find something with a lot of domain controllers and machine. And this is where I recommended you to come to the configura configuring advanced Hyper-V networking feature. So when you click on that, it gives you all of these um, uh, domain controller right here. So if I click on start, what will happen, you can see right here, uh, you, you make sure you follow these red uh, text right here. They have some important information. So, but focus right here, domain controller, domain member server, domain member server, these are like extra servers. A and then you have a domain workstation, which is Windows 10 and Windows 10 uh, workstation another one. You have so many things to work on it right from your browser without buying any extra resources or hardware. Um, this becomes a headache when someone don't have these type of things and this is the, the stopping point for someone you know you can you watch the video but now you want to practice and you have a full one year to practice on these labs so I strongly recommend you to get the library access because this is where you can jump around and do things now to get to get started what you will do make sure you follow these red uh, text right here because like for example you need to turn on the domain controller first uh, for other servers to work because of the Active Directory services and security policies and everything to just turn it on you just need to click on power on and power on on all of it so now they don't recommend you to click on power on all right here because you know certain labs the domain controller needs to be powered on first for others to work properly so I like to do it just one by one uh, and I'll just turn it on like this way power it on power it on and I'm gonna power on the last one and now when you want to let's say start practice you just click on this little tab right here now you have a full screen uh, yeah, information right here. This is the one I just explained. And when you come down, you see right here it says the device is not connected. Uh, all you have to do is to click on connect here. So now when you click on connect, it will establish a connection. And this is your this is your uh, domain controller right there. And you can see you have right on your browser. Uh, in such a quick way, you can get to your domain controller um, and all these things right there. So if you go to right click on the machine 
and click on right here and you have about 4 GB and 64 bit system pretty fast it's, it's, uh, on a, even a Wi-Fi network it's running pretty fast so uh, it's uh, the performance is awesome right here and this is what I was talking about the Active Directory course so let's say you open this right here in Active Directory and now you can get to these labs right here so these are the same machines that you're working on here and you can put some users in here uh, play around with it the, the same thing that you have learned in Active Directory now you have full hands-on uh, practice if you want to do something else like not Active Directory maybe you you're looking something in this course and now that's uh, about group policy so you can also use because it's the same domain controller same stuff you can get to the group policy management here if you were learning DNS from some other videos or DHCP you can come here and practice on these uh, labs right here because you already paid for it for one year now the, to get to different labs is so easy to just scroll down and now you can get to the different lab right here you can hide it if you want to but this is a different server as you can see uh, we can right click here and go to the system now most of these servers come with like about 4 GB RAM and that's kinda required but some gives you a lot like 8 GB RAM and that's awesome because now imagine this 8 plus 4 this it's a 12 GB right there and you can see this on the top right here these are all servers um, so uh, right here different server another desktop so you can see that how much money you can uh, save by following these labs and this is why I recommend everybody to get the library access it's just that you're not going to be stuck with one lab or one course anymore you just have a full freedom to jump around to different courses now what if you are not into uh, into you're into networking then of course you will just go to the Cisco environment and they have uh, routers and switches and everything so you will basically turn it on so you remove the search from here and you see right here if you if I turn this on you can get the access to their routers so if I say configure initial switch I can click on start here and this will give me access to all the routers and switches right here and you have uh, uh, diagrams right here to follow for networking and similarly you can basically work on it right on the browser um, make sure you just turn off your machines once you're done it will automatically log you off but it's a good practice to just turn it off this way now if you're into uh, virtualization another a big one is like a VMware stuff like that and they have a full course on that also if you go all the way to the bottom this is a VMware 6 professional for data center so now you can see so many things and if you want to uh, practice in the virtual environment where you can put uh, like you know domain controllers and uh, like you know workstation in a virtual environment you can also use these type of labs so yeah you have so much uh, freedom to to work on things because the, of the resources that are available to you and that makes it a perfect solution for us because we teach you real world skills and without having resources it, it was a little hard for us to to kind of you know uh, tell people that it, with these courses you will learn because we were the, the, the videos we were creating everything was done on a real world equipment uh, and this is why we recommend you to get these labs because this is going to be a complete skill for you and once you're done um, of course um, you, you you get a certificate and things with these courses um, again if you're not sure where to get these labs make sure you go to click on the start IT career with hands-on IT labs or if you want to get um, the full membership with it then just click on membership level and get it with the uh, library access if you're interested in what is being covered in all of these labs when you go to jobscliche.org and click on this tab you can actually come and check the list right here this is one bundle one bundle is CompTIA depending on what you're trying to buy so the whole library access is everything included every single thing that we have posted here and the 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 lab list is updated regularly um, as you can see right here um, you have access to all the videos and documentation before buying the lab so make sure you click on the PDF guide it's a very detailed guide and you can basically check some question answers at the bottom right here uh, what what browsers are supported can I save my work uh, it's an important one right here it says unfortunately you're not you are unable to save your work from one lab to one guide to another or when uh, you log out so each lab is a modular and autonomous making saving unnecessary by design so 
this is by design to kind of like you know because like I said things are very focused on what labs are provided in these PDF so make sure this is something that you keep in mind um, but most of the time you can get back to the lab and practice again and again uh, that's the main purpose of you when you work on these type of um, um, skills right here the one that you're learning from jobskillshare.org you really don't need um, you really don't need to save your work in that at that point when you have 90 minutes of uh, work because these are very small courses and uh, the the whole time that you spend is actually creating like a domain controller and everything that is really not uh, your job skill so if it was yeah if it was a system admin job at this point they have already done everything for you and that that becomes more of a lab environment and and then I would say okay m focus on these labs more than just these courses remember these courses are specific skills and they're targeted towards entry level positions at this point so yeah you don't need to save all this work you can just finish up in 90 minutes and keep doing it again and again to get better so again if you have any questions make sure you go to the lab support they have their support if you have any issues with account access if your username and password is not working then you can support click on support at uh, jobskillshare.org thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys in another video